When you need an ambulance, every second counts. Tonight, the two investigators expose ambulance response times. What Pam Zuckman found was that delays are common, and paramedics she spoke with are worried. Anybody? Anybody else available out there? Anybody available out there that can take a run? A dispatcher pleading for ambulances. How often does that happen? Daily. Sometimes several times a day. So alarming, these two paramedics agreed to talk as long as we concealed their identities. The standard for response times is six minutes. That day in question, a 19 minute response for an overdose, a 20 minute response for a child hit by a car, and a 23 minute response for a high risk pregnancy. What's going on? There aren't enough ambulances and there's too many calls coming in. The need keeps going up and the number of ambulances stay static. Calls for ambulances have increased over the last three years from 339,000 in 2014 to nearly 371,000 in 2016. A number driven in part by increased violence. That requires more ambulance resources. Take last April when three people were shot, including two children on North Sedgwick. It took 22 minutes for an ambulance to get to the second boy. The city says it meets state standards by sending fire trucks with a paramedic on board until an ambulance arrives. But our whistleblowers say that's not enough. Time is of the essence. They need to get to a hospital. Three years ago, after we exposed the problem, the city said it would buy more ambulances, but so far, they haven't. Meanwhile, this past 4th of July, it took 15 minutes for an ambulance to respond when Andre Perea blew off part of his hand setting off fireworks. It's only supposed to take six. Oh, wow. That's not right. That's not right. You know, somebody could die out here, you know, could bleed out. And here on the northwest side, a 22-minute response for a shooting victim. They could have died on the scene. People could die because an ambulance doesn't get to them in time. I absolutely believe that people have died already because ambulances couldn't get there in time. In a written statement, a city spokesperson said it has purchased replacement ambulances and hired paramedics to reduce overtime. But in response to our inquiries, the city now says it's analyzing data to see where and how many additional new ambulances are needed. And this time, Rob and Erica, hopefully they'll get them. It's amazing the disparity in time that you mm -hmm. talked about, six minutes and it ends up being 15 or 19 minutes. And it's dangerous. It, depending on what the, the emergency is, people need to get to the hospital. And is the city offering any explanation for why they made this promise three years ago and still haven't fulfilled it? They have not explained it. They talk about spending all this time gathering data mm -hmm. and figuring out where they're needed, uh, but it really is pretty inexcusable. Okay. Thank you, Pam.